My name is Han Han, and I'm one of the winemakers here at Bear Creek Winery. So we have over 350 tanks at Bear Creek Winery, and our traditional way of mixing these tanks, we hook up a 25 horsepower centrifugal pump. Uh, we go rack over top, and you mix for as long as it takes to get a homogenous mix. And sometimes, you know, for a 257,000 gallon tank, that's hours, that's a lot of time. You have to worry about washing in the line. You have to worry about sanitizing the line afterwards. Uh, there's a lot of labor involved in sanitizing the pump as well as cleaning all the seals. We weren't even looking for alternatives for, for mixing our tanks. We didn't know there was alternatives out there. So when we found out about the blending cart from Pulsair, it seems too good to be true. And we demoed it on our 24,000 gallon concrete tank. We watched it work and just the velocity that the wine moves across the surface and you see, wow, this is really getting a good mix. It feels like you're in the lab, you're mixing a vial up and down. That's kind of uh, the kind of homogenous quick mix that you're getting. Uh, we trialed it on a couple more tanks and within literally a couple days, we made a decision that we we're gonna buy it. We're using the Pulse Air blending cart on both red wines and white wines. For our 257,000 gallon tank, we are finding a 20, 30 minute mix is sufficient in getting a homogenous blend. For something in the range of 30,000 gallons, we are still mixing it for about 10 minutes. It's just so incredibly gentle on the wine uh, that you don't have to worry about beating the wine up with pump. So when we add in SO2, we add in acid adjustments, uh, stabilizers like CMCs. When you put a 200,000 gallon blend together, you worry about stratification that happens in the tank. But with this blending cart, you're able to hook up, you know for a fact you're able to get the tank mixed, and you're pulling an accurate sample. The beauty of the pulse air cart is that there's a check valve involved. So really the only part that really needs to be cleaned and sanitized after every use is just your uh, hookup to the tank. It's completely on the outside of the tank. You just have to hook up to the racking valve and then just introduce your nitrogen or any other gas that you want to mix with and then you're done, you're ready to go. Yeah, we bought one and then now we're looking at buying another one just because the seller loves it so much. It's not even us, it's just that it's the folks who are actually doing the work out there. They see, wow, this is enough to mix a tank. I don't have to clean a pump. I don't have to build a line. Uh, it's just, it's always in use at Bear Creek right now. It's just, you go, you check, oh, it's being used. I wish I had another one.